Hello everyone and welcome to the One Man on Renegade Podcast YouTube channel. I'm your host, the Honorable Greg B. And today we're starting up a new series. It is Blast Off Mondays. Yeah, um, trying to think of something to do for Mondays uh, now that I'm caught up on my subscription boxes. Uh, and I thought, I have a whole bunch of blasters, so let's blast the week off with some blaster boxes on Monday. Why not? Let's do it. I got plenty of these. So we're going to start things off with a run of Diamond Kings. I have 2018, 2019, 2020, so come back for the next couple weeks and we'll be doing those uh but yeah we're starting things off with 2020 diamond kings um i like diamond kid kings to some degree obviously with this panini product it's got the um you know obviously problem of not having the major league baseball license so there's no logos and stuff like that um but um you got a good mix of older players and legends and you know new stuff and whatever as well um so you know i kind of like diamond kings um it's not my favorite, but um, I enjoy it. Uh, I did open a box of 2017 a while back. I did pretty well with that, so hopefully we have some good luck with this one as well. So 2018, we got 33 cards per box. So not a ton of cards, obviously, you know, to, to begin with. Uh, so it's six packs, five cards per pack, and then one bonus blaster exclusive pack, um, which features blue frame and artist proof red parallels. Um... We got some Mickey Mantle stuff, exclusive stuff in there. Uh, what else? I don't know. There's a whole bunch of nonsense there. So hopefully we find something cool. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Why not? Let's blast off this Monday with uh, Blaster Box. And while you're at it, uh, head on down, hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed already, hit the notification bell as well so you know when my videos uh, come out. Uh, also hit that share button and share this with everyone you know. Hit the thumbs up because you're gonna like the video. Head on down in the comments and say hello and check out the links for my uh, links to my blog, podcast, and other social media as well. All right, let's dive into this. Uh, we got all the packs right here. Toss the box side. Here's the exclusive blaster uh, stuff. We'll save that for last, I guess. Uh, so uh, let's get to. Started. Here's a little look at the pack. I don't know if it says anything specific there, but uh, if you can read that, it says a bunch of stuff. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. All right, let's just rip into this, shall we? All right. Now, unfortunately, Diamond Kings is one of those products that comes out kind of early in the year. So there's no, like, there's no Acuna or Soto in this box. I mean, you got Devers and there's... Walker Bueller and Otani and stuff, but in terms of rookies, there's no Acuna or Soto, so it's not as sought after as some of the other products from 2018, but all right, we're starting things off with George Kelly. Uh, there's definitely some parallels and like variations and stuff. I don't know. I'll try to try to see if I can find those or figure those out, but uh, as we go along, but um, got Anthony Rizzo, you got past and present Manny Machado and Brooks Robinson. Uh, I'm guessing that's a insert uh set so that's kind of cool throw it up there paul warner uh and robinson cano now it's it's kind of interesting because you know like with these products that throw in the legends and whatever i always question like why they choose some of the like i mean a babe ruth or like a mickey mantle fine and like george i mean i'm not like taking away from them obviously but uh paul warner but it's like I just wonder how they choose which, like, you know, legends they put in, you know, which Hall of Famers and stuff they put in, because obviously there's a lot to choose from. Um, so it's like, I don't know, you know. I mean, it's not a ton of cards in this set. It's not like a huge set. So it's like, I, I wonder how they arrived at ha put uh, Tommy hein Heinrich, Henrich, however you say it, Tommy Henrich in this set as opposed to, you know, someone else. I don't know. Because, I mean, you, you obviously got to switch it up. You can't have everyone, you know, the same year to year. But uh, we got a F Francisco Lindor, of course, now a member of the Mets. Um, Aurora card. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah. We got a backwards card of Aaron Judge. So this could be something cool. Obviously, the backward cards are usually something cool. It's probably parallel, I'd imagine. Yep, some sort of parallel or variation couldn't tell you exactly what it is, but, uh, yeah, it's Aaron Judge, so, that, you know, that's pretty good, that's a pretty one to get, pretty good one to get, whatever, whatever variation it is, 
Uh, Gabby Harnett and Nikki Delmonico rounding things out in that pack. All right. Um, next pack. Obviously, uh, 2018 Shohei Otani obviously is featured on the, you know, look for his autograph. He was the big deal coming into the 2018. You know, hasn't really plan panned out as well as people had hoped. Had some injuries and stuff, you know, the whole pitching and, uh, you know, batting thing to kind of, I don't know. I mean, I feel like he's probably going to have to, you know, stick to one going forward. He hasn't been good enough at both to justify playing him at both. Uh, Buster Posey starting things out. We got a Joey Gallo a Diamond uh, da Gallery Star of Gallery of Stars. Uh, Joey Gallo, guess that's an insert. Uh, Evan Longoria, something cool. Uh, I'm guessing it's a variation of some sort. I don't know enough of the cards to know like what the regular card looks like, or it might be some sort of parallel. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff going on with these cards. Uh, Jim Bottomley and Bobby Thompson are rounding things out there. All right, next pack up. We got uh, Carl Erskine, uh, Dylan Peters. We got a framed Greg Maddox. Or no, it's not. A, it's It looks like it's a frame, but it's not one of those frame cards. It's just like looks like it. Uh, Greg Maddox portraits, portraits card. That's cool. Um, Chris Bryant. Throw him on down there. And Ted Lyons rounding things out there. All right. Um, I don't remember where I got this box. Somewhere down the line. <laughs> Could have been Walmart.com or Target. They had, I mean, back, you know, about a year or so ago, they had stuff. They had stuff on their websites and stuff. You could buy older stuff. No, nowadays, nothing. There's nothing up there, barely. Um, if, unless, unless you get lucky, but nothing older. I got Joe Cronin starting things off. Justin Verlander. Uh, Chris Bryant, Trophy Club card. Uh, then we got Bryce Harper. And Billy Herman, so. Solid pack. Some uh, stars in that pack. Let's adjust these a little bit. Get them on screen better. All right. Last regular pack. Let's see what we can find. We got Herb Pen Pennock, uh, Anthony Banda. We got a 500, the 500 Eddie Murray uh, insert card. It's a kind of cool looking card. Carlos Correa and Nelly Fox running things out there. And we got our parallel, or what were these called? I don't remember. They were the... Oh, it's the blue frame and artist proof red parallels on the bonus three card pack. So let's see what we can find in here. Hopefully some some something cool. Some good players. Maybe some legends, Hall of Hall of Famers, whatever we can find. Alright, we got the red parallel, Jose Altuve, not exactly who I was looking for, but we got Frank Thomas is our uh framed card, the blue framed card so that's pretty cool and we got the mickey mantle uh deal uh that corner is not looking so great there but oh well yeah mickey mantle collection um yeah i, I mean you know it's it's really weird to see mickey mantle cards and don't have a yankees logo on it but uh that's panini for you then for i mean i'd love for them to get the um the major league baseball like I, don't, I mean, I don't know. I don't know why they can't. I know Topps has the exclusive deal or whatever, but uh, I don't know when that runs out. But, you know, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, I get it from the business standpoint. It's like, hey, if Topps is willing to pay you such and such to have the exclusive rights to your, you know, logos and stuff. And you know, it's same with football and Madden with EA Sports. It's like, I get it. They're probably paying a good amount of money to the league to pay for that. Um but at the same time, for the consumer, it's it's better to have competition. And, you know, Panini's trying their best, but it's like there's just, you know, the um, appeal of these cards just aren't quite there because you're missing a logo. Like, that just looks weird for to have, you know, Joey Gallo with a blank helmet. Like, it just doesn't look right. It just looks wrong for, like, you know, going back and looking at, like, 
the most famous cards of all time and like the you know you know the the holy grails of cards and stuff like that you know i can't imagine that any of these panini products that have no logos are gonna ever be that you know for anyone you know the autographs and relics and stuff aside parallels aside it's like you're just missing those logos like you know they just don't look right you know and stuff so i don't know but um I mean, they're cool cards. At least they're doing something. At least it's just not tops. At least there's someone else out there. But um, yeah, I just wish that baseball would be like, hey, you know what? It'd be nice to have a little bit of competition um, and, uh, uh, you know, more competition, I would say, and uh, have multiple. I mean, they don't have to go crazy with it. I mean, back in the day, there was like a million different brands, you know, and that kind of hurt the hurt the business and, and uh, hurt the card industry of course and everything blew up in the in the 90s and whatever but you know if you at least have two brands that are are competing against each other i don't see i don't see the harm in that but anyways that's gonna be that's gonna be it for today's blast off monday uh come back every monday as we blast off another blaster box we're gonna continue on with diamond kings next week with 2019 see how we do with that um but thank you everyone for watching again hit that subscribe button hit the like hit the share uh say hi whatever else uh, stay safe, have fun, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye.